I hope you can't see my nips in this. Hey guys, Dan here. I know it's been a while, like over two years since I sat down and done one of these videos. How you been? Thank you if you've stayed subscribed and, you know, been thinking about me. Past two years have been a bit of a roller coaster, right? So it's gonna take a take a solid minute to go through. I've always been worried about people making fun of me for making videos, you know. I'm sure a lot of people on YouTube are like that. I think the last video I actually uploaded where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get back into YouTube was the Moose Blood cover of Cherry. Um, at that point in my life, I was studying sound engineering at college. And, you know, I found out about like music software and stuff and how I could edit songs and covers and make it sound a bit prettier. The quality of that recording was pretty trash, to be honest with you. But I had only been there for a couple of months. It must have been about a week to two weeks after I'd done that video. Anxiety just hit me right in the fucking face with its ball sack and was like, no, you ain't doing nothing. It got to the point where I actually, I felt like I couldn't leave the house. You know, anxiety was just sat on my shoulders and was like, you can't go to college because you're trash and nobody likes you and you're not going to be able to achieve all your dreams. So I wrote an email out and I basically quit. I still regret that to this day. I basically chucked the career I would actually really enjoy down the drain because of anxiety and that's shit, you know? So I was stuck in this, this state for, it felt, it felt like months and months and months. Realistically, it lasted a few weeks to a month. First of all, I'd like to thank my family because I don't think I would have ever got through that stage in my life without them supporting me and understanding. And for my friends, because they're very open, they understand me. I do love my friends as well. But I actually stayed at my sister's who lived by a beach. I don't know if it was for sea air or whether I was just out of the house. But that walk along the beach changed, it changed me. It's really, <laughs> sounds really sad and like dramatic, but I just decided that I need to nip this in the butt, you know? Like, I need to actually just start going out and fighting the anxiety. So I was actually unemployed for around a year whilst this was all happening. So luckily I had, luckily, sort of, I had all the time in the world to fix myself and focus on myself. But also it's not too good to have all that time to reflect on yourself because then you overthink everything. But I eventually got a job interview. It was the most awkward interview ever. I have no idea how I got the job, but I got the job. Thank you, thank you. I was in that job for two years in retail. I uh, worked my way up into management. Really enjoyed it. And then, you know, mental health was still there. But because I was out doing something, it took my mind off it at the same time. Do you get me? Do you get me? I hope so. Just recently, I've quit that job. I was starting to just feel really depressed and like, this isn't what I want to be doing. Um, you know, customers were just degrading you. Everyone made you feel like shit. Um, the staff themselves were lovely, don't get me wrong. It was more the customers and, you know, just feeling appreciated for, you know, what you're doing. I've just recently started another job. I just do cleaning and laundry and stuff in a care home. And I'm really enjoying it. I've been there for about a month now. I finish at a reasonable time. I start at a good time. I have time to make videos now. Like, what? I'm just... I'm feeling more myself than I have in a long time. And, you know, it's great. 
in between all of this, um, I've also done my driving test, so I can now drive a brum brum. Awesome. And I've also been dating my now fiance for two years. I cannot thank Molly enough for everything she does for me. Uh, just the person she is. She is so loving and caring and she would do anything to support me and help me and she's just incredible she is my rock as cheesy as that sounds so you know everything is good life's good at the minute i'm finding time to focus on things i enjoy i've been writing songs music i've been learning new songs to cover for you guys i've been making review videos I'm now sitting down and talking to you guys. I am happy. I am happy at the minute. And I hope it stays that way. And I keep motivated to keep making videos. I feel like this is a really deep video. That was just like the basics of where I've been for two years. If you guys would like, I have lots of little stories. Awesome little stories, funny stories. I'd love to share if you guys would like to see that leave a like on the video and comment that you'd like to see some videos on the stories I'm just I just really want to get a grind on this year and I would love to get to 300 subscribers doesn't sound like much but to me that would mean the world you know like active subscribers and stuff because I think a lot of mine at the minute are people from high school and stuff who probably have new accounts and you know they don't actually watch my videos but if you are a person who subscribed and you watch my videos you're a real one thank you very much thank you guys for watching please leave a like subscribe and let me know what content you'd like to see from me even if it's just me sitting down talking playing video games uh reviews general vlogs then my music if you want to hear my songs, covers, let me know what songs you want me to cover. And that's that. Thank you guys so much. Sorry this was a real deep video and it's quite a long one. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And let's make this year a good one. Cheers guys.